I've always had a bit of a fascination with maps, which I guess explains why I ended up doing a PhD involved with map design. But one thing I've always really liked about maps is how you can look at how an environment has changed, particularly somewhere that I'm particularly familiar with, which is why I have quite a wide variety of old Ordnance Survey maps of South Wales. So this map was published just after the Second World War, but these two, these two are from the 1920s, and I love seeing how much South Wales has changed in that time. This is why I always keep coming back to this photograph of Cardiff Bay, which I took in 2001 when I was 10 years old, and very handily named with excellent spelling. This photograph shows the Pierhead building and the areas surrounding it in Cardiff Bay in 2001, just as the redevelopment of the area was really taking shape. And it's really interesting to see what has changed in the last 18 years. So as well as this photo, I found two others that were from way earlier. I think they're maybe from 94, 95. I'm not quite sure of the age of them, but we're talking mid 90s here. So with these photos in mind, we headed down to Cardiff Bay and attempted to recreate them, which honestly was like trying to solve this really strange three dimensional puzzle, trying to work out exactly where the person who took the photograph was standing, and then also where I should be within the frame of that picture, trying to get the framing right. I was quite lucky that I have a very similar uh, camera lens to the one that my dad used for taking the two older photos, and so that made it a bit easier to recreate exactly how the image looked. My boyfriend and I had a lot of fun trying to work this out, it was, it was genuinely quite enjoyable, and I would definitely say if you fancy a weird little challenge, it's worth doing. <laughs> I think we did a really good job of recreating the old pictures from the 90s, but we did realise when we started trying to find the position of this one I took in 2001, that it was taken at water level from a boat, and that made things a bit trickier, but I think we approximated the position quite well from land. <laughs> and these are the finished photos. Thank you so much for watching this video, this was made for the Film Prompt Society Prompt Nostalgia. If you're interested in checking out Film Prompt Society, there'll be links somewhere on screen and in the description of the video.